get right to the meat of the matter here. Who's this character called Butcher? Well, how about the baker and the candlestick? Don't waste my time, Baldwin. Look, I know a guy named Butcher. He did a little work for me at my office in the hospital. What kind of work? Oh, you know, handyman work, but he didn't do a very good job, and I, uh, I threatened not to pay him. Well, did you? Well, I did, but there was a little bit of a confusion. You see, uh, my check got lost in the mail. I guess he got a bit upset about that. Uh, yeah, he did. We had a few words about it. What's the number and address of this Mr. Butcher? Well, I don't have his address, and uh, I don't have his phone number with me. Do you know the fire at the brownstone was arson? Well, isn't that just speculation? It's a fact. Now, according to Bobby and Terry, this isn't the first weird occurrence that's happened there. The first wasn't a fire, but rather a whole lot of smoke mixed with an obnoxious smell. And the lights started going on and off. Now, if memory serves me correctly, the same thing happened over at the hospital, because I was there when it happened. I was, too, about ten feet away from you. Wasn't that a hell of a coincidence? Yeah, I guess it was. You can go. Just call me with the butcher's number. Okay. later on today, all dressed up. <laughs> well, I hope you can hear me. I'm gonna miss you at the show today. But I'll be thinking about you every single minute. The show's gonna be about determination, perseverance, and stubbornness. You'll never guess where I got the idea. I've been thinking a lot about you and, well, this, this whole thing with Frisco and the way you've been handling it. You've really been an inspiration to me. Your determination, your perseverance, even your stubbornness. So I guess in a way this show is going to be about you today. Um, I don't know if anybody told you this, but everything's back to normal at the Brownstone, and you can go back home whenever you're ready. And I'm sure that's going to be very soon. I know you're going to get better, Felicia. Everybody's really pulling for you. A lot of people are praying for you. So many people care about you. You've touched so many lives. A lot of people love you very much. I, um, I brought you something. And I think it's gonna make you feel a lot better. If you can hear anything,
cold. Honey, I don't know what you mean. What the hell was cold? Don't start with me about cults again. And that silly call that he made last night saying he had a dream. I don't want to hear it. I really Sweetheart, don't. he did have a dream. He did call me, but that has nothing to you do know, with... You know, sometimes I think that you think I was just born yesterday. Hey, when you get my assistant in on the ad by coming up and telling me that he had a dream, it was a musical fantasy, really, Sean, I got too much on my mind. I Will you please it. stop? Me stop? You started it. Yeah, I, 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 why have you been prattling along about this cockamamie dream that your assistant had? Cold has disappeared. Oh, get out of here, Sean. He's probably back there someplace, and you stay away from my assistant, okay? I didn't say a word to him. I don't want to hear another word about dreams or nightmares or anything. A joke is a joke, but now, I Now, Colton enough. is I... gone, and it's your fault? If Colton is gone, which I doubt it very seriously, you made him leave. I mean, he's got a show to do, and, and he should have been here. I don't know where he is. He should have been here, but he's not. And the phone is ringing. I've got to answer the I'm phone. I'm going over to the hospital. Up. You go to the hospital. Tiffany, you? Hi, how's it going? Oh, Cheryl, don't even ask. I mean, Sean is playing these silly little jokes and games with me and Colton. And we have a show to do, and he just, poof, oh, he disappeared. I don't know where he is or anything. And we, we start in a few minutes. I guess I called it a bad time, huh? Well, no time is really a good time, you know, when everybody's crazy and everybody's crazy around here. <sighs> okay, I'm calm. Where are you? Please, Felicia, for your sake, for everybody's sake, please wake up. <laughs> 